Hi there and welcome to my day 8 of my video challenge. My name is Mike Sherritt and this is my video diaries and today we're going to talk about basic NLP exercises that you can try at home. So today we're going to talk about basic NLP exercises. The reason why is that I've got a book that's coming out shortly regarding NLP um, tricks and exercises that you can do for entrepreneurs to give them more success and, and an easier way to success. So I just want to touch on basic NLP. Now what is NLP? NLP is Neuro Linguistic Programming. It means all your neurological pathways are being programmed a way that you want it to be programmed rather than the way it is. So for instance, you you uh, you don't like coffee and you want to try coffee. So you, what you do is that you change the neurological ways that you think about coffee and it then really gives you a chance to be able to drink a coffee. Um, another instance, um, you have a fear of spiders. Um, I've got a video that I did regarding phobias of spiders and it's still in the number one position um, in YouTube at the moment. It's had over, I think it's over 20,000 views. Well. That is proof and testament that if you do the you know, the NLP properly, you can get rid of phobias. And I did that in one session with Claire, um, my, my brother's girlfriend. She had a fear of spiders and now she touches them. She has them in her hand and it's my brother that runs away from her. <laughs> it's a uh, biggest belief, but it does really work. Now, the two exercises that um, I did in a previous video, which is on my blog, if you've not watched it, go and have a look at my blog. I did an exercise with my brother and his friend regarding telling three truths to a story and one lie. And they had to be able to work out who got the different um, signals from the eyes going in different positions. Now, the sound quality isn't that fantastic on it. Um, I do apologize, but I can't take the video down because it's number one in Google and I've had over a thousand hits on it. So I have to keep it there. So the reason why I've done an updated version regarding this is because I understand the sound quality is poor. So what I did was I actually asked them to take a look uh, to see if they could look to the left or the right when they're telling people the stories because what happens is humans instantaneously look rather left or right for information they always do it so obviously one's for storing information and one's for making lies um, if you look to the left it's obviously you're making up the the lies and if you look to the right it actually means you're, you're looking for the story that's actually true and I asked them to look between them each other to find out which person was telling the truth and which wasn't um, I have put a clip in here now in four stories as short as long as you want it doesn't matter but out of them four stories by looking into your eyes he's going to be able to tell you which is the false one so let's have it go away do it for me please As you can see, the uh, sound quality wasn't that good. <laughs> I do apologise. Oh, it was way back in the day when I, I, I had a big room. Um, I only had one little tiny camera. I just started my hypnosis business and uh, it didn't really go that well. <laughs> so I do apologise. But you can see from the exercise on there that they were telling each other stories and they were seeing who was lying who wasn't. Now, the next one that we did was um, a coin drop. Now, obviously, from unconscious movements, it makes you move. So, obviously, you could see this one. And have a quick look at this one. And, obviously, if you want to watch the full video, you can look at my blog and it'll be on there. So, take a look now. Yeah. The next exercise we're going to do is a 50 pence piece. And what I want you to do is, I've shown you before exactly how to do it, is put it head high. By looking into each other's eyes, you both should know exactly when the coin's going to drop. Nothing else, you look into the eyes and you put your hand out and you grab it. And again. You do this three times. Mm. 
Now, as you can see, good exercise. Now, they're two basic exercises that you can do. And now, what I'll do is I'll, I'll write out the way that you can do them. Um, I'll re redo that for you so that you've got a diagram to show you how to do it. And um, obviously, that way, then you can do that yourself. And you can try that at home because the two really good exercises that start training your mind and your thought processes to change the way that you think things, the way that you look at people, the way that you understand how people, this is what the police use um, and investigation services. They use NLP to manipulate people's body language and to understand how they're thinking, the hand movements. They, they have a look at everything. If you're crossed, it means that you, you're closed. And they have all that understanding uh, about it. But if you want to check it out in more, that my book's coming out and you can have a look at it in, in, in a couple of weeks. It'll be on Amazon or it'll be on my, on my shop on themikeshow.com. Um, but that is obviously basic NLP. It's just basically by observing the way that people behave, the the, the way that they uh, see different things, um, the lip movements, nose, eyes, um, just observing people more. You'll be able to understand how people work. Um, if you are interested in more NLP and stuff like that, you just get in touch with me and, and uh, I'll ask me any questions you want regarding it. Um, I'm open for any anyone to ask any questions. But this is day eight and this is basic NLP exercises that you can try at home. And my name is Mike Sherrick.